Yes, hello my fellow YouTubers, this is Dr. Dragunov again. This is the engine bay of my 740 IL 1999 uh, E38 with a M62TU. I'm going to change the cam uh, positioner sensor. I changed the, the solenoids before, but it's not really running great, so I'm just going to show you how to locate them and change them. Not in too much detail, but I'm going to show you how to, to uh, measure them up if they're gone. I think they're, I get no readings, so they're basically shot, both of them. You change, I would suggest that when you, if you change the solenoids, change the camshaft positioners also because uh, it's kind of this it's in the same area so it's kind of nice to do that so you're you're uh, have new things to to uh, uh, when you change the solenoid change the uh, sensor also I'm going to show you this is one and it's right there it's a five mil millimeter allen and then you just follow the routing to that guy and basically what you do is you go underneath and just press the clamp and pull. On the other side, it's right there. Also a five mil, follow the routing. The same procedure. Press down on the clamp and pull. So I'm going to go inside now and show you how to measure up to get the correct readings and diagnose if, if the camshaft sensor is, is gone. Yeah, so now I'm, I'm in the uh, my workshop, a uh, little bit uh, warmer, not so windy and not so many barking dogs. <laughs> well, anyway, these, these are the, uh, the old camshaft uh, sensors I uh, pulled off the car and I don't know if you can see but there is a there's a BMW marking on them so they've probably been on the car since they were new so right now they would be something like 20 years old they don't last forever uh, so I, I had a problem with rough idle and uh, lack of power and it wasn't really backfiring, but it, was, it, it, it didn't feel right. So I started off by changing the solenoids and it became a lot, the, the Venus solenoids, of course, uh, it became a lot better, but not really 100%. Uh, so I ordered uh, new um, sensors off of uh, eBay. Um, the original sensors are something like 130 bucks or something and you can get uh, really good uh, aftermarket uh, ones uh, for let's see what did i pay i thought i think i paid something like th th uh, 40 bucks or something for for a pair uh, so that's okay and they look like this so um uh, the, the new ones and how to figure out if you have bad pickups or ba bad sensors is that you take your trusted ohm meter and you stick it in here between one and two and you should get a reading um, I don't really know the the exact uh, uh, numbers but you should get a reading these two anyway that I pulled off the car, I have no reading. So they are basically gone. Or they're not basically gone, they're gone. They, they're, they are no more. So what you do is you, you have, on the part that goes into the heads, it's like looks like this, it's a five mil uh, Allen. Pretty easy to get to. Uh, it's a half hour job with everything, taking off the air duct and so on. Um, so, and the only thing you really have to do is you have to, the green uh, O-ring, you have to be careful and put that on the new one because they don't come with O-rings, right? So when you do that, 
and then you just put them put them put the new back the the new ones back on the car and for some reason i don't know um i usually uh take off the uh the ground or, or disconnect the battery after installing new electronic uh, components um i don't know if it's necessary but i do it anyway so there's no like old um uh, readings in the computer and it will start off on a brand new uh, do whatever it does when it d d goes through all the uh, the, the processes of, of, of uh, fine-tuning the engine I just do it just to be on the safe side um, so that's highly recommended uh, and also you can see on the new ones it looks like this and you have the the spring-loaded release for the uh, contact so it's a 30-minute job so let's get to it <laughs> 